Hey everyone, it's Stepan with Clear Online Video, and welcome to this quick tutorial on using the Rate Stretch tool in Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud 2015. For those of you who have watched my other tutorials, you know that I'm all about finding simple solutions to improve your projects and video editing workflow. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use the Rate Stretch tool, which has drastically increased my editing efficiency. Here's how the tool works. I've got some footage loaded into a Premiere project and placed on my timeline. On layer one, I've got an interview with audio, and on layer two, I have some supporting B-roll footage. Now I can guarantee you that we've all been in a situation where the B-roll footage we had wasn't quite long enough to cover our interview or a jump cut. As you can see here, the tail end of the original B-roll footage is just short of being usable due to this camera shake. Let's fix this with the Rate Stretch tool. You can find the tool by navigating over to the tool panel and selecting it. Essentially, the tool works just like it sounds in that it allows for you to stretch the timing of your footage over a period. Of course, you can do this by right-clicking and adjusting the timing under duration, but the Rate Stretch tool does the guesswork for you by simply clicking and dragging in the timeline. Dragging out will slow down your footage over time. You can zoom in on your clip and see that this action slowed down the speed of your video at a percentage. Now you can also do the reverse and speed up your footage. Let's undo our first set of steps to our clip. Now let's reselect the Rate Stretch tool, and this time let's drag in or trim in with the tool. Now if I zoom in, you can see that the percentage of the clip has increased. As you can see, this is a very simple way to extend or shorten clips over time within the timeline. I find it very handy with any kind of edit, and especially the quick turnarounds. Give it a try in your next Adobe Premiere project. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.